well, just after three hours, we have now reached the summit of Alex's knob. <laughs> <laughs> hey team, welcome back to the show. We last left you in Kaikoura after spending an extraordinary day swimming with dolphins in one of the real highlights of the trip. The notoriously unpredictable weather on the west coast of the South Island was finally looking good, which meant it was time to go and see some glaciers. We left Kaikoura and drove along Highway 7 across the country, stopping for one night in the spa town of Hanma Springs. What do we think, darling? You aren't going to like it. No. She wants the whole thing to herself. Look at this. Beautiful, really nicely done. As you can see, we're having a terrible time. Very stressful. Oh. Back to relax. We spent a final evening with our friends Joel and Yael before finishing the drive from the east coast to the west coast where we reached the historical port town of Greymouth. Good afternoon from Greymouth. So Greymouth is, I think, probably the biggest settlement on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. Um, this place was born and boomed as a gold mining town. Um, according to the sign that we saw just over there, three million ounces of gold came out of this place and it essentially financed New Zealand's growth as a country. Um, the boom started in about the 1840s. This was one of the biggest shipping ports in New Zealand, there's a train line that runs from here to Christchurch, which still operates. We spent the afternoon wandering around Greymouth, which was a small but perfectly nice place. We tried asking a few locals what people did for fun in the area, but none of them seemed to really know. This is a, an amazing little bit of history. Um, We've just driven a couple of kilometers past Greymouth to the coast. There were a series of these, what are called pillboxes. They're little concrete bunkers installed all the way down the coast. To give you some idea, I'm six foot tall and I kind of, I have to crouch a little bit to get in here. But these were designed for one man and one machine gun and they were installed along the coast uh, during World War II because of fears about a Japanese invasion. Thankfully, they were never used. Good evening from Greymouth. We went for a little evening stroll and then settled down for a sunset with a view. Getting to sit and watch the sun go down before you go to bed is something that will never get old when you do it at the beach on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. It's fabulous. Good night. Good morning, we are cruising out of Greymouth and down to the Franz Josef Glacier. The drive down the west coast was stunning and we made our way south along the western edge of New Zealand's southern Alps. There are two main glaciers which attract the tourists to this part of the country, the Franz Josef Glacier and the Fox Glacier. Good afternoon from Franz Joseph. We're about a kilometre out of town itself. Just going for a little walk to stretch our legs. This is all a riverbed. It's dry at the moment, there's just not been enough rain. But I imagine in the winter and then the spring as it all melts, this is flowing hard. The ocean is just the other side of that sort of lip of hills there and town is just round this way and I think by the looks of it we can walk along here not a bad little setting for a place though is it big business around here is taking a helicopter up into the mountains to go and see the glaciers there's five of them parked up here I think maybe the low cloud means they can't fly today evening we are just having a little walk along the camp premises just taking in these beautiful views and getting ourselves all hyped up for a massive hike tomorrow look at those clouds 
from us. Good night. Good night. It doesn't look like much, I'm not talking about Lauren, <laughs> but this should in fact be the start of the Alex Nov Trail. It's going to be about six hours up to see the glacier up there. Six hours return, I should say, before I get in trouble with Lauren. We are going to go and enjoy what should be a truly, truly, truly gorgeous walk. See you in a bit. So quick heads up, um, we very nearly walked that way into that gap there because we couldn't see the Alex Knob sign hidden behind these cars. So as you're driving from Franz Josef Town, you want to take the track on the right, not the left. Let's try that again. Bye. We have been going for 18 minutes through this beautiful forested trail, down about a kilometre and a half. We found our first obstacle. Looks like a tree has come down. We will carefully creep underneath this one. <sighs> Beautiful so far. Oh, I've got a big ass bag on. Oh, I'm too tall. <sighs> wow. Here we go. Where are you guys from? London. Cool. 58 oh, minutes on the clock. 4.3k. Uh -huh. Gorgeous. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, you can actually see Franz Joseph Town over there in the distance. Wow, wow, wow. Hee hee, you can see the ocean. That's gorgeous. Five and a half K, one hour 21 on the clock. And my goodness, have we got a proper view of the Franz Joseph Glacier. That's extraordinary. 7.1 kilometers, one hour 55 minutes on the clock. And look at that. We can't have much further to go up. 1.95.5 says my watch. 7.5k, two hours, eight minutes. Nearly there, I reckon we've got about 800 meters to go to the top. There's not all that much more up that can be done. Viewpoint's gonna be somewhere around the corner there. Uh, two and a quarter hours to get here. Eight kilometers on the watch. Two hours and 50 minutes of walking later, we have what might be one of the very best views of the trip. And I think that just around that corner is the summit, I hope. I think we did it. There are people. We've gained 1,125 meters from the start of the track. I've lost 18 pints of sweat. 18 pints of sweat. There's the summit. Oh my. We'll let that one speak for itself, I think. Time for lunch. This is probably the best view of the entire trip so far. The Franz Joseph Glacier. You've got the view off down the west coast there, so you're looking south down that way, north up the coast that way, and it's just picture perfect in every direction. It's stunning, so beautiful. And that glacier is awe inspiring. It used to go an awful lot further down the valley, but it's been receding for decades now. But what a place to sit and eat lunch. It's so gorgeous. We're just after three hours 
we have now reached the summit of Alex's knob. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, really special views here. We've just had some lunch and we're just taking it all in. It is well worth every step and climb. It was a bit of a scrambly walk up here, but absolutely beautiful. And now we've got to get back down. <laughs> that should be fine. See you at the bottom. Time to go back down. Look at that. Do I have to go back down? Yeah. My wife says I have to leave. It has been perfect conditions for this. It has been like 20 degrees, but lots of shade from the trees. Lovely and cool, not too windy. It really has been about the best conditions I think I've ever done a five or six hour hike in. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just perfect. So perfect. See you at the bottom. We are at the big sign at the end. The road is just out here. What a we walk. Have done. We had done. Five hours, 20 minutes, and we, we stopped for an hour at the top. So six hours, 20 minutes all in. Um, beautiful, really beautiful. Back to the van for a bit. The Franz Josef Glacier is one of the most accessible glaciers in the world. Whilst it used to stretch all the way down the valley, climate change has seen it retreat further up the mountains. It was named in 1865 by geologist Julius von Hast after the Austrian Emperor Franz Josef. The trek up to see the glacier is almost as beautiful as the glacier itself, and this was definitely one of our favourite hikes in New Zealand. Good morning. We have got 10 days left with our van, which is extraordinary given that we had it for 80 days overall, I think. Mm -hmm. But I would just like the record to reflect that once upon a time, Laura and I, in fact, had our breakfast somewhere this beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's just extraordinary. Overlooking the Franz Josef Glacier. It's... <sighs> It's, it's genuinely quite hard to want to leave this. It's um, You could sit here all day and just look at it. It's gorgeous. It's the first time in a while the terrain has been quite different as well. This is noticeably different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we are going to go and see the Fox Glacier today. I think it's going to be quite as spectacular as yesterday, but that also means it's not going to be as exhausting on our butt cheeks. <laughs> Um, and then if we're good, we're going to drive all the way back to Wanaka, which um, sort of from here overall is about a four hour drive. Um, but if we can make it to Wanaka today, then we'll make it to Teanu tomorrow and we can go and see Milford Sound the day after that. Um, miraculously, the weather forecast, which was hideous for 10 days, has completely changed and it now looks gorgeous and sunny. So um, I think it's time to do the Milford Sound run, which will involve a lot of driving, but um, hopefully will be well worth the payoff. We will see you on the road in a bit. It was a short but very beautiful 45 minute drive from Franz Joseph to the small township of Fox Glacier. 4.8 kilometres, one and a half hours, Glacier Viewpoint by the South Side Walkway. This way. This is the walk. It is beautiful. Super flat, nice super tree. chill. Lovely and shaded. These gorgeous giant ferns everywhere. Sound of the river on our left. What's not to love? It's been lovely. How about that? River is flowing. It looks grey because it's all sitting on a bed of volcanic sand, but I suspect that's probably about the cleanest water in the world. That there is the Fox Glacier. It's 13 kilometres long. Just learned from the Little Information Board that this and the Franz Josef Glacier that we saw yesterday are two of the only glaciers in the world that penetrate uh, a temperate rainforest, which as you can see from all the ferns, this definitely is. Look at that. You think you have? It's crazy. 
It is 20 degrees out, and that glacier is not all that much higher than where we are at the moment. But somehow they remain frozen. It's beautiful. Sad to be saying goodbye to that, because that's the last glacier we'll be seeing for quite some time, I think. But what a one to leave it on. The Fox Glacier. It is awesome. We are heading back to the van. We left the Fox Glacier and kept driving south along Highway 6, heading towards the little town of Hast. We are cruising south down the west coast. We've got the ocean on our right, just behind these trees here. We've got the mountains on our left. Every so often we go over another gorgeous river. It has been the most beautiful, beautiful drive. And we will be in Hast in about 10 or 15 minutes and we are going to stop for a bit of lunch. See you in a bit. Ah, look at that. Pretty. Ocean on the way. And mountains. Boat powering down. That's staggering. That's so beautiful. Hello from the beach at Hast. It's about four kilometres out of town. Um, Hast is tiny. There's nothing that would uh, that would make you stop there. We spent an hour enjoying the sunshine on the beach before settling in for the drive back to Wanaka. Say hello to Thunder Falls. 28 metres high, one of the best waterfalls we've seen all trip. Feeds out into the Hast River here. Absolutely gorgeous. That's so beautiful. It's a 20 metre walk from the side of the road. Just saw the sign and I'm so pleased we stopped. The drive from Hast back inland to Wanaka was, as the whole day had been, stunning. Uh, it's one of the most scenic roads we've done the entire trip. Welcome to the Lake Wanaka Lookout. This lake runs for about 70 or 80 kilometers. Wanaka's about 40 kilometers straight down that way. It's gorgeous. The water is just crystal. So stunning. See it sparkling. So lovely. On we go. Had a very long day of driving today. We started in Franz Joseph. Driven a what, four or five hours today. Yeah. A um, couple of stops along the way. It's been a really, really beautiful scenic drive, but we are absolutely knackered. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. Tomorrow we're heading on to Teanu, and from there, all being well, Milford Sound. So stay tuned. See you in the morning, people. Next time on the Doms Down Under. We head for one of New Zealand's star attractions, the astonishing Milford Sound. Thank you so much for taking that little trip down the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand with us. We really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you next time, and I promise you, it's worth it.